Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And first thing I want to say, no, this is not my usual recording setup. I'm currently a groomsman in a wedding throughout this week, which is why you guys haven't seen videos for the past couple of days. But I did want to talk about one topic that has been on my mind, so I wanted to make this video today. And the topic on my mind is the question, should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers sign running back James White? This has been a very popular topic for all Bucks fans of all different varieties, you know, is should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers go out and sign James White? And I think it goes a little bit deeper than that. I feel like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should look at all pass catching running backs because that's been the main point as to wanting, you know, Bucks fans wanting to bring James White in in the first place is, hey, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers need a receiving back in this offense for them to be even more potent. And right now, as it stands, Ronald Jones, not the best receiver in the world. He did did improve from last year to this year in terms of his receiving ability, but he still has a ways to go in terms of improving even further. Leonard Fournette, his contract is, is uh, expired. He might not be back with the team. And even then, when he was in the regular season, his receiving game was pretty on par with Ronald Jones as well, maybe a little bit better. I think you could say, you know, safely that his was still a little bit better, but it was still very far from reliable. Uh, Keyshawn Vaughn, he could potentially be maybe be a receiving back, but we haven't seen enough of him to get any kind of indication as to whether or not he can or cannot do that. TJ Logan will also be returning. Maybe he gets in the mix, but you know, receiving back's definitely a big question mark. And it's something that the Buccaneers offense doesn't need, but it would certainly help. I mean, Tom Brady, as a lot of people know, likes a good receiving back on his team. He did it for years in New England, James White being one of the main guys to help out with that. Uh, he had been playing with the New England Patriots since 2014, so he's been with Tom Brady a very long time. And yeah, that's a lot, lot of, led a lot of people to say, hey, why not bring James White into Tampa? He's 29 years old. He loves Tom Brady. He'll come here for a little bit cheaper. Let's see what can happen. So that's what we're talking about today. So James White played in 14 games. He did miss a couple of games due to an unfortunate accident that happened, uh, which resulted in his father passing away in a car accident. He did miss a couple of games due to that. But overall, he finished with 62 targets, 49 receptions, 375 yards, and one receiving touchdown. It has no rushing stats for James White, at least on pro football reference. So we're just kind of left here with his receiving stats. His quarterback was Cam Newton. Uh, Cam Newton, who admittedly struggled a lot uh, throughout the season with the New England Patriots in his first year. Uh, he, he did not have a great year by any means in terms of a passer. As a runner, he did okay, but as a passer, uh, left a lot to be desired for the New England Patriots. But Still, regardless, James White has proven in the past that he can be a very reliable pass catcher for specifically Tom Brady. Um, so that is obviously a point in the column of, hey, they should at least take a look at him. I know some people will sit there and say, well, the Buccaneers, if they do get a pure receiving back, their offense may become a little bit too predictable in terms of, well, if Ronald Jones is in the game, you know it's going to be a run. If James White is in the game or whoever receiving back the Tampa Bay Buccaneers would have in that role, you know it's going to be a pass. And I think with the creativity of, you know, Bruce Arians and Tom Brady, I feel like they could come up with a lot of scenarios to where that kind of predictability does not happen. So that's not something I'm overly concerned about. I think about this situation a little bit deeper. I don't look at just James White. There are so many good receiving backs in free agency right now, and I may talk about a couple of more, uh, a couple more of them. But uh, you have Theo Riddick, you have Rex Burkhead, who I believe is actually a free agent as well. He played with Tom Brady for a little bit. Um, James White, like I just said, Dion Lewis, another receiving back who played with Tom Brady, who the Buccaneers had interest in last year, among a few other guys as well, who are just all really good in that role of a receiving back. So there are a lot of options. It may come down to money. Spot track right now has James White's you know, uh, perceived market value at $3 million a year. I could see the Buccaneers maybe saying, hey, James White, would you take $2 million a year? Would you take $1.5 million a year to come play with Tom Brady? And maybe James White would take that deal. I, I would not, you know, be in the know in terms of how big the market is going to be for James White. I mean, receiving backs are a pretty nice thing to have on an offense in terms of flexibility and fluidity with your offense and just getting creative. So 
There may be some suitors for James White, but the Buccaneers do have a lot of things going for them in terms of, you know, in terms of appeal. They just won the Super Bowl and they have Tom Brady. I mean, that's really enough appeal for most free agents, in my opinion. So I think James White would be no different, especially considering the fact he played with Tom Brady for six years. Yeah, there's a lot of things going in terms of James White potentially coming for Tampa Bay, or at least a lot of logic behind it, I guess I should say. Nothing set in stone, but there's a lot of logic behind it. So ultimately, do I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should sign James White? Well, I do think they should sign a receiving back. Whoever that may be, maybe it's James White, maybe it's Theo Riddick, maybe it's Rex Burkhead, maybe it's somebody else, but I do think they should sign a pass catching running back. I think that is a priority. And when you look at the logic and the thinking behind all of the options that are out there, you know, a Dion Lewis, a Rex Burkhead, especially a James White, those guys all seem like very logical fits in terms of Tom Brady getting some of his old teammates back into the fold in Tampa Bay. We could see that in the form of potentially James White, Dion Lewis, or Rex Burkhead coming to Tampa and um, overall having a very similar role to what they had with New England with Tampa Bay. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Leave me your thoughts about this entire situation down in the comments section below. Do you believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should sign James White or do you think they should hold off, maybe sign somebody else or maybe draft a pass catching running back? Leave me your reasons as to you feel why this move should or should not happen down in the comments section below. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. I may get another video or two out here uh, before this week is done. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I should be recording this weekend. Um, after Friday, um, after tomorrow, I guess I should say, this is being recorded on a Thursday afternoon. So after Friday, uh, I have the whole weekend to record some videos. So that's when things should tick back up. But I will be getting this up today, Thursday night. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.